At this time, we'll stand for the Pledge of Allegiance to the American flag and remain standing for our invocation. Let us pray. Oh, gracious God, we come as humble as we know how. Lord, we want to say thank you for being God, being God all by yourself. Thank you for forgiving us of our sins, for we all have sinned and fallen short of your glory. We thank you, O oh Lord, for life, health, and strength, food, clothing, and shelter. Thank you for the opportunity to assemble ourselves here and do the business of this city. Guide us, O oh Lord, as we speak. We pray, O oh Lord, your blessings on everyone who is in attendance here and their families. Pray for those, O oh Lord, who are fighting in harm's way, those who have been burdened down and lost loved ones. And we pray especially for those in Columbia, South Carolina, O oh Lord, who has lost everything, loved ones and all items. Now, Lord, let us not be selfish and let us help someone else along the way. When we depart from here tonight, Please guide us safely to our destination. We give you the glory, we give you the honor, and we give you the praise. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. And clerk, will you call the roll, please? Councillor Striplin? Here. Councillor Wood? Here. Councillor Brown? Here. Councillor Starnes? Here. Councillor Whiteside? Here. Councillor Bowles? Here. Councillor Bean? Here. I call this private city council meeting to order. A character trait of the money is thoroughness, knowing what factors will diminish the effectiveness of my work or words if neglected. Thoroughness. This time we have approval of the minutes. City council meeting in public here on September the 15th, 2015. We have a motion to approve those minutes. So moved. We have a motion. We have a second. Second. We have a second. All in favor of approval of those minutes, signify by raising your right hand. And those minutes have been approved. At this time, we have comments from persons present regarding tonight's agenda. Any item on tonight's agenda that you would like to speak on, please come to the microphone. Yes, ma'am. My name is John Lee Finnegan. I live at 211 Deer Trace Street. I'm coming before you regarding resolution number three, number four, number five, and number nine. Um, these are all non-competitive bid projects, and they total $258,000. If you add the half of the 95,960 non-competitive same contract bid that you approved at the 515 meeting, um, to be budgeted in this new physical year that it was split up. Um, that totals, um, brings the total to 305,980 contracts that have been used uh, non-competitive bids. And we are only six days w in the new fiscal year. And I'm just hoping that more considerations be given to getting bids. Um, this is not negating the uh, companies at all. But I think if uh, considering the great amount of uh, expenditure that's maybe going to take place this fiscal year, fiscal year, that um, I think bidding should take place rather than just non-competitive. I know you're allowed to do that. But again, um, you already have $305,980 worth, and we've just started into the new year. So I just wanted to express my concerns with that. Thank you, Ms. Finnegan. Does anyone have any questions or comments for Ms. Finnegan? Yes. Okay, Ms. Finnegan. Um, the, the bid process is a wonderful process. Being a business owner, dealing with the bid process, I know how it works. But once you get below a certain line item, dollar figures, business would ground to a halt in the city if we could not take the time and hire it out and get it done under a certain dollar amount. And that's what we have our elected officials for. That's what we have our department heads for. So um, I would ask if you have more concerns about that, just get with your council person. I'd be glad to help you with it. Okay, thank you. Help me with what? With all the bids and the questions. But it's non-competitive, though. 
But there's that's reason. That means bids aren't coming in, correct? Exactly, because we're under the bid law, and if we went and bid everything out like you're saying, we couldn't conduct business in the city. Thank you. Also, number three, um, the rate study that is being um, approved for 19,000 for the wastewater. Um, I know that uh, Councillor Stripling brought up about the Pine Creek um, plan being three to four years, and that phase one was expected to be 23 million, and that phase two uh, might be divided into um, um, two projects because of the cost. And I'm just wondering if, since we're, or since you are approving a rate study, how soon would that rate kick in if it is changed? I mean, if you're doing the rate study and approving it now at the beginning of the year, then, you know, is there a plan in mind about increasing rates or staying the same or whatever it is? So when would that rate um, be implemented? Council Stripper. That's the reason we're doing the study. I understand that, but you already know what the Pine Creek, that amount of money. No, ma'am, we do not. Oh, so the $23 million you mentioned is not. We haven't signed a contract. $23 million. I mean, I was That's just wondering. $23 million was based on an engineer's estimates based on construction cost at the time that he did the proposal. Okay. It could take up to a year or more to draw the plans. Okay. That's, that's what I was asking. So the rate, we, we wouldn't expect it this year then. I don't if it know. takes up to draw well if it takes up a year to draw the plans why would we implement a rating if it's an in increase if it's operating at, at a deficit now is it well it's the reason we're doing a rate study okay all right and also number three and number nine using jackson thornton and again this is not negating them has any thought been given to at least uh, putting this out to bid also and maybe looking at different um, um, CPA firms or, or whatever because we've used Jackson Thornton for quite some time and it might be good to get fresh blood. Does anyone else have any questions or comment or answers to uh, Ms. Finnegan's question? Ms. Brown? I don't have a comment as far as the Jackson Thornton, but professional service in, in general, I just have real concerns about bidding that out. The cheapest is not always the best, and when you're dealing with engineering firms and accounting firms and that sort of thing, I'd have real concerns if we just took the cheapest thing out there. We might get what we pay for. I'm not saying cheapest. I'm just saying since we've used them for so long, you know, the, the past administration used them, et cetera, and I'm just thinking about maybe getting fresh blood and, and just looking and seeing if, if per chance, because I know it's um, on the agenda for $91,000, and I think that's what we've paid um, for the, the last uh, several years. So I'm just, just wondering. Ms. Finnegan, there has been some conversation to possibly look at uh, someone else, but at this time, uh, I think the administration feels that it's prudent to move forward with Jackson Thorne. Oh, but no, that, I understand this year, but I'm saying maybe coming years. Uh, there's a possibility yeah. that that discussion will take place. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else would like to address the council on any issue? Please come to the microphone. Regarding tonight's agenda. Mary, you have any comments? Yes, sir. But I would like to ask before Yes, sir. To come up, he can come forward also with his officers. Um, Okay, well, we're presenting tonight to you just uh, is some promotions that we had, and let me uh, guarantee you that the, the promotion process was um, uh, everybody who, who, who's getting promoted went through 
quite a bit. And um, first one to move to Lieutenant is Rodney Westover. If he'll come up. I notice you got the, the pointed portion of it, sort of rubber band here. I guess that's uh, a very particular reason for that. So. Congratulations. We're going to reserve our applause, Mayor, since we got okay. a long line and give it to everybody at the same time if the council's okay with that. Lieutenant uh, okay. Ray Wagner, come forward. Thank you all for the Okay. Then we have Sergeant Jamie Henderson. Jamie Martin. Okay, Corporal Joyce, you and your family would come come forward. Emmanuel. And Samuel. Nancy Collier, first motorcycle police officer, first female motorcycle officer for the city of Fravel. And uh, she went through quite a bit of training and, and um, deserves, I guess I can't say their wings, but your tires. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I think it's a woman that we do congratulate them on all their hard work, but there was a lot of behind the scenes work that went into that. I um, um, guess I have a question for Ms. Lisa Thrash of HR. How many years have we been working on this promotional process? Has it been three? Two and a half? Closer to three and a half. Three and a half. So a lot of work uh, that's gone in behind the scenes that a lot of people don't know about. I definitely don't know. So. Um, would like to give um, HR a round of applause for all their hard work on this. Thank you. We have had a lot of our valuable employees come come forth, everything from public works, to public safety, and everything in between. And and um, as I have sort of mentioned before in comments, we are a service-oriented organization. We have to have our people and we have to have our equipment. So thank you, Council, for everything that you have done. Well, moving right on along with that, I would like to ask uh, our Otago Creek Improvement Committee to come forward. Uh, uh, committee President Skip Low Miller, along with uh, Parks and Rec Director Kelly Cook and Betty Hall, they have a presentation. Trail. We'd like to turn this over to Parks and Rec. Appreciate all y'all's hard work. 
Thanks to y'all. Support. The community support we got. Canoe Trail. However, we are separated by the, the historical dam, which we understand the historical significance of it. Uh, the, the, the plaque does designate us not six miles here and, and eight miles there. It designates us as a 14 mile canoe trail. So hopefully we'll uh, be working on this real soon. Well, thank you. You know, uh, what's it been? 2012 since Collard Creek Improvement Committee was formed, and I know you guys have yes, had made a lot of headway, and uh, look forward to working with you guys. And we do have a lot of plans planned for historic downtown property. So, yes, thank you for all your hard work. Well, Mr. President, I'd like to go ahead and uh, and move forward. One more to give out. Okay. Well, thank you guys again. You know, as we open up this fourth chapter of this quadrennium, I feel certain that Daniel Pratt would be proud, proud that his 1839 Prattville has evolved to what we, what we have today. Prattville is known as the birthplace of industry here in Alabama. Pratt and his works are known locally, statewide, and globally. I mention this for several reasons. We have evolved from a manufacturing village to a destination location for food and shopping. We've also become a destination for golfing, fishing, and kayaking, as just referenced with the Creek Improvement Committee. You know, our roots run deep, and through hard work and development, we have diversified. There's now something here for everyone. A role of government is to provide an environment for private enterprise to flourish. When you couple this with our proximity to the interstate, a relationship with Maxwell Air Force Base, and our citizens, citizens who remain friendly and welcoming, you have a recipe for success on so many levels. We're very blessed to have citizens that are patriotic and willing to give back to our community. Counselors, our financial footprint is firm. We have several reasons for our improved, improved financial status. Some of those are our citizens, our employees, our city council, our local businesses, and so many more. We have a very committed workforce dedicated to serve. Our city, county commissioners, our chamber of commerce, our board of education, all working together to improve the river region. Our financial improvement has been noted. It's been noted by Standard & Poor's through credit rating upgrades, the Governmental Financial Officers Association and a Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting, and by so many others in the financial and the political world. With the passage of our 2015-16 fiscal year budget, which is based off of prior year's actual revenue, our growth is successfully documented. It proves that our opportunities are ours to determine, as is our destiny. But we can only achieve success, success through continued partnerships as partners of Prattville. Our strength, our strength as partners positively affects our ability to make capital investments and to cultivate our human capital into a quality workforce for, for our future. This great city has received a number of accolades over the past year and a half, 
and I'd like to name a few. Best place to retire was designated by Money Magazine, rated number one. Most business-friendly cities in Alabama, ranked number two. Best towns in Alabama to raise a young family, number four. Best suburbs in Alabama, ranked number 13. 2015's Best Cities for Women Entrepreneurs, ranked 46 nationally, but number one in the state of Alabama. Mr. President, in my opinion, we have survived the economic downturn. During the past year, Pratt will re realize an, an, an approximate business capital investment of $75.5 million from projects. We had 11 commercial projects and 14 retail projects. Approximately 616 jobs were created in Prattville from these projects. Retail trends are up in all categories, ranging from 12.5% in building materials to 166% in service stations. Lodging revenue is up 12%. Building permits are up 10%. Permits are just another key indicator showing consumer confidence in this community, a result of past investments paying dividends. You know, whether it's sidewalks, paving, sewers or technology, infrastructure is vital, vitally important to the health of this city. Without it, growth is not possible. We have paved a number of streets in the past year and with passage of an item on tonight's council agenda, we'll be paving quite a few more. This money is well invested. There's good debt and there's bad debt. Our overall debt is down 38% since 2011 and will decrease several more percentage points when the advent of our November 1st bond payment. We must continue to remain good stewards of taxpayer dollars. February 2012, some of our goals were to cut our expenses, tighten our belts, maximize our revenues, and decrease long-term debt. We have success successfully accomplished these items. With that being said, we continue to be conservative in our spending, fiscal responsibility, and our debt payments. It is our commitment to you, the partners of Prowl, that we continue to provide quality services. We have a lot of great plans and projects in store for our general government, our public safety, our public works, for our quality of life programs in the coming year with the continuous support of this community. One thing is certain, change is always constant. We intend to embrace and grow. Our roots are leading us back to economic growth in manufacturing, and while we continue to develop technology-based opportunity and diversify our industries. Counselors, I look forward to a bright and successful 2016 with all of you. I have the Chamber of Commerce sign over here, Prattville, open for business, Tauga County. I think it's fitting for us to promote that, show that while we're here. But um, with all this being said, I'd like to invite Doug Mosley to come forward as I um, refer to this certificate of achievement because he was very instrumental on this. Um, remember his roughly about 2012, more or less. Um, I know one of the words that was first and foremost is that um, we have a lot of full disclosure and that sometimes make uh, our um, financial um, gurus a little, um, a little concerning to what, what direction politicians are gonna take them. But there was a lot of hard work put into this. This certificate, certificate of achievement for excellent financial reporting was presented to the City of Prattville, Finance Committee, Doug Mosley and myself, and I just think that it's fitting that uh, he come forward and accept it on behalf of the City of Prattville. If you don't mind, we'll present it to you up here. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I know I've been asked up to come up here to accept this. This was a lot of hard work. Um, this was a lot of hard work by a lot of people, not just me. And I want to uh, make sure to recognize those people. All of our department heads, it, it starts down at our very lowest level with our lowest employee, doing the right thing, even doing something as simple as turning receipts in on a timely manner. All that flows back up to this. Um, Lisa Thrash, 
does a lot of work on the on the audit that a lot of people don't even know about. Um, as as you all know, payroll is a huge portion of anybody's in the service any in the service industry's budget. So obviously that gets audited a lot. She spends a lot of time with that. So all the way down from the lowest employee to all department heads have a huge um, effect on um, what comes out in that small little binder. Um, it's a lot of hours by a lot of people. So, thank you. Thank you. Well, in closing, there again, I like to mention that uh, Jackson Thornton, you know, is the uh, the auditing company there. They had a lot of time and effort into this. Um, the uh, certificate there is um, sort of the blue ribbon, the gold medal. Uh, very, very few uh, cities in the state of Alabama have that, that are able to hang that up. And, uh, and in my opinion, it just shows that about the full, full disclosure, the transparency, um, the willingness that, uh, that this government body has to try to get, out, to get the message out to our citizens is that we are open for business, but we are transparent because we want them to know that we're putting every bit of their taxpaying dollars to good use. So, again, Mr. President, that's the end of my lengthy report. Thank you, Mayor. Does any council members have any questions or comments for the mayor? Thank you. Thank you. We do want to take this opportunity to congratulate all of the hard work that has been done uh, on the officers that were promoted. Uh, congratulations and thanks to the Otago Creek Improvement Committee. Uh, a lot of hard work has been done there, and it is most appreciated, I'm sure, by not only this council, but this entire city. Uh, let me also note while I'm speaking that we want to congratulate Assistant Chief Ham. I think she's already gone, Mayor. And we pray that all will be well with her attending the FBI Academy. Uh, before I go into the agenda, I noted some scouts. Are they still here? Okay, since they are not here, we will proceed and we will uh, recognize them if they come back in. Now we have a report on Council Special Committees. Council Strippen. No, sir. Councilor Brown. Councilor Stearns. No, sir. Councilor Whiteside. No, sir. Councilor Bowles. No, sir. Councilor Boone. No, sir. We are going to our agenda. We do have a consent agenda to consider tonight. We have seven items on the consent agenda. Item number one is a resolution to declare various weeded lot to be a public nuisance and ordinary abatement per Title 11, Chapter 67 of the Code of Alabama, 1975, as amended. Number two is a resolution to set a public hearing to declare various weedy lots to be a public nuisance and ordinary abatement per Title 11, Chapter 67 of the Code of Alabama, 1975, as amended. Number three is a resolution to surplus one trailer from the fire department. Number four is a resolution to surplus various equipment from the police department. Number five is a resolution to waive fee for the Target County Fair Association during the week of October 13th through 17th, 2015. Number six is a resolution to authorize the mayor to sign contracts for services for community initiatives and city county services as allocated in the FY 2015-2016 budget. And number seven is to consent to the change of control of Bright House Network, LLC franchise agreement to charter communication. Do we have a motion to place these seven items on a consent agenda? Motion. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Would be any discussion on placing any of these items. All in favor of placing these items on a consent agenda signify by raising your right hand. And these seven items have been placed on a consent agenda. Do we have a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Would be any discussion on any of these items? All in favor signify by raising your right hand. And the consent agenda has been adopted. Our next item is an ordinance to exempt certain covered items from the municipal sales and use tax during the last full weekend of February 2016, as authorized by Act 2012 256, generally referred to as the state severe weather preparedness sales tax holiday legislation. Councilor Stripling, will you read that for me, please? Yes, sir. Be it ordained by the City Council of Prattville, Alabama, as follows. Section 1. 
in conformity with the provisions of Act 2012-256 enacted by the Alabama Legislature during the 2012 regular session providing for a state severe weather preparedness sales tax holiday, the city of Prattville, Alabama exempts covered items from municipal sales and use tax during the same period, beginning at 12.01 a.m. on Friday, February the 26th, 2016, and ending at 12 midnight on the following Sunday, February the 28th, 2016. Section 2. This ordinance shall, shall be subject to all terms, conditions, definitions, time periods, and rules as provided by Act 2012-256, except that the time period shall only be as specified in Section 1 above and not for all years thereafter. Section 3. The City Clerk is hereby authorized and directed to certify a copy of this ordinance under the seal of the City of Prattville, Alabama, and to forward said certified copy to the Alabama Department of Revenue to be recorded and posted on the department website. Section 4. This ordinance shall become effective upon the passage and publications as required by law. So move, Mr. President. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. This being an ordinance of permanent nature, the rules must be suspended unanimously to, in order to be considered. We have a motion to suspend. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. All in favor of suspension of the rules signify by raising your right hand. The rules have been suspended. We'll be in a discussion on this ordinance now. All in favor of adoption signify by raising your right hand. And this ordinance has been adopted. Item number two is a resolution. To award bid number 15-007 to Ash Falls Contractors for street improvements at a cost not to exceed $796,850. Councilor Brown, will you read it, please? Yes, sir. Whereas the City of Prattville has a need to upgrade the paving of several streets within the city limits, and whereas the Engineering Department of the City of Prattville has drafted specifications and let bids for this project, and whereas three bids for said project were opened on October 1, 2015 at 9 a.m. in City Council Chambers, and whereas Asphalt Contractors Incorporated was the lowest responsible bidder at a cost not to exceed $796,850, and whereas said paving project is budgeted from the Gas Tax Fund and the Capital Projects Fund. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the City Council of the City of Prattville hereby awards bid number 15-007 at a cost not to exceed $796,850 for said street improvements to Asphalt Contractors Incorporated and said funds are approved and appropriated from the fiscal year 2016 budget line items gas tax fund slash miscellaneous contract services and capital projects fund slash miscellaneous contract services. Be it further re resolved that the City Council of the City of Prattville does hereby authorize and empower the Mayor of the City of Prattville to execute any and all documents necessary to have this work performed for and on behalf of the City of Prattville. So moved, Mr. President. I have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? We have a second. We'll be in a discussion on this item. All in favor of adoption signify by raising your right hand. And this item is adopted. Item number three is a resolution to enter into an agreement with Jackson Thorn Utilities Consultants to provide professional services for revenue requirements and analysis and cost of service slash rate study for the wastewater department at a cost not to exceed $19,000. Council Stripling, will you read it, please? Yes, sir. Whereas the City of Prattville has identified a need for, for professional services for a revenue requirements analysis and cost of services rate study for the wastewater department, and whereas Jackson Thornton Utilities Consultants has the ability to provide professional services for said analysis and study at a cost not to exceed $19,000, and whereas paragraph 41-16-51A3, Code of Alabama 1975 as amended, allows contracts to secure services with consultants possessing a high degree of professional skill to be let without competitive bidding. And whereas said services are a budgeted expense of the wastewater department. Now therefore be it resolved that the City Council of the City of Prattville hereby authorizes and empowers the Mayor to enter into an agreement with Jackson Thornton Utilities Consultants for professional services at a cost not to exceed $19,000 and said funds are approved and appropriated from the FY 2016 Wastewater Enterprise Fund Street Sewer Line. 
be it further resolved that the mayor is authorized and empowered to execute any and all documents necessary to have this work performed for and on behalf of the city of Prattville. So move, Mr. President. We have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Will be any discussion on this item? All in favor, signify by raising your right hand. And this item is adopted. Item number four is a resolution to enter into an agreement with Sane Associates to provide professional services for the capital improvement plan, city facilities long range plan at a cost not to exceed $100,500. Councilor Brown, the introducer, please. Yes, sir. Whereas the city of Prattville has identified a need for professional services to assess the current and future viability and usefulness of, ex of existing city owned facilities and to make facility by facility recommendations in conjunction with the capital improvement plan. And whereas Sane Associates has the ability to provide professional services for said project at a cost not to exceed $100,500. And whereas paragraph 41-16-51A3, Code of Alabama 1975 is amended, allows contracts to secure services with consultants possessing a high degree of professional skill to be let without competitive bidding. And whereas said services are a budgeted expense of the capital projects fund. Now therefore be it resolved that the City Council of the City of Prattville hereby authorizes and empowers the mayor to enter into an agreement with Sane Associates for, for professional services at a cost not to exceed $100,500 and said funds are approved and appropriated from fiscal year 2016 Capital Projects Fund Miscellaneous Contract Services. Be it further resolved that the mayor is authorized and empowered to execute any and all documents necessary to have this work performed for and on behalf of the City of Prattville. So moved, Mr. President. I have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. We'll be in a discussion on this item. All in favor, signify by raising your right hand. And this item is adopted. Item number five is a resolution to enter into agreement with Volkert Incorporated to provide engineering services for the capital improvement plan street evaluation and assessment at a cost not to exceed $65,000. Councilor Brown, will you read it, please? Yes, sir. Whereas the City of Prattville has identified a need for engineering services to evaluate city maintained roads to rank and prioritize each roadway for maintenance and repair, to recommend the type of repair and to develop a street inventory database and GIS map. And whereas Volkert Incorporated has the ability to provide engineering services for said project at a cost not to exceed 65000 And whereas paragraph 41-16-51A3, Code of Alabama 1975 is amended, allows contracts to secure services with consultants possessing a high degree of professional skill to be let without competitive bidding. And whereas said engineering services are a budgeted expense for the planning department. Now therefore be it resolved that the City Council of the City of Prattville hereby authorizes and empowers the Mayor to enter into an agreement with Volkert Incorporated for engineering services at a cost not to exceed 65000 and said funds are approved and appropriated from fiscal year 2016 Planning Department professional services. Be it further resolved that the Mayor is authorized and empowered to execute any and all documents necessary to have this work performed for and on behalf of the City of Prattville. So move, Mr. President. We have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? We have a second. Be any discussion. All in favor, signify by raising your right hand. This item is adopted. Item number six is a resolution to release funds for the purchase of one 2016 Kenworth T880 dump truck from National Auto Fleet Group through NJPA Purchasing Cooperative Contract number 102811 for the engineering department at a cost not to exceed $140,331. Councilor Brown, you read it, please. Yes, sir. Whereas there is a need for one 2016 Kenworth T880 dump truck with a 16-foot ox dump body in the engineering department, and whereas said truck is available through NJPA Purchasing Con Cooperative Contract Number 102811 from National Auto Fleet Group, through Trucksworth Kenworth at a cost not to exceed $140,331. And whereas said dump truck is a budgeted expense for the engineering department. Now therefore be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Prattville that said funds in an amount not to exceed $140,331 are hereby authorized and approved to be paid to National Auto Fleet Group or Trucksworth Kenworth and funds are approved and appropriated from the fiscal year 2016 Budget line item, Engineering Department Capital Outlay. So moved, Mr. President. We have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Will there be any discussion? 
All in favor, signify by raising right hand. And this item is adopted. Item number seven is a resolution to release funds to rebuild one grit conveyor for the Pine Creek Wastewater Treatment Facility by Collier Machine and Fabrication Incorporated at a cost not to exceed $7,650. Council Stripling, will you read it, please? Yes, sir. Whereas the wastewater department has a need to rebuild a nine foot grit conveyor for the Pine Creek Wastewater Treatment Facility. And whereas Collier Machine and Fabrication Incorporated has the ability to rebuild the grit conveyor at a cost not to exceed $7,650. And whereas said expense is bu bu budgeted for the wastewater department. Now therefore be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Prattville that said funds in an amount not to exceed $7,650 are hereby authorized and approved to be paid to Collier Machine and Fabrication Incorporated. And funds are approved and appropriated from the FY 2016 budget line item wastewater enterprise fund slash capital outlay. So move, Mr. President. We have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Be any discussion on this item. All in favor signify by raising your right hand. And this item is adopted. Item number eight is a resolution to ratify and affirm the purchase of one 30 feet Rockefeller Pine pre lit Christmas tree from Balsam Hill for the Parks and Recreation Department at a cost of $14,999. Councillor Boone, will you read it, please? Yes, sir. Whereas the City of Prattville holds an annual Christmas tree lighting ceremony, and whereas the Parks and Recreation Department identified the need for an artificial Christmas tree to be placed annually at Heritage Park near the fountain, and whereas a 30 foot Rockefeller pre lit Christmas tree was available from Balsam Hill at the cost of $14,999. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the City of Council of the City of Prattville does hereby ratify and affirm the purchase of one Rockefeller pre lit Christmas tree from Balsam Hill at a cost of $14,999 for the Parks and Recreation Department. So moved, Mr. President. We have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. We've been in discussion on this item. All in favor, signify by raising your right hand. And this item is adopted. Number nine is a resolution to authorize the mayor to sign a one-year engagement letter with Jackson Thornton and Company PC for auditing service for fiscal year 2015 at a cost not to exceed $91,000. Councilor Bowles, will you read it, please? Yes, sir. Whereas 11-43-85 Code of Alabama 1975, as amended, requires the city to conduct an annual audit of the city finances and whereas Jackson Thornton and company PC provided auditing services for the city of Prattville for financial year 2014 and whereas Jackson Thornton and company PC will best serve as auditors to provide the city with necessary experiences and whereas 41-16-51 a3 code of Alabama 1975 as amended allows contracts to secure services with um, consultants proposing a high degree of professional skills, including certif um, certified public accountants to be let without competitive bidding. And whereas the city of Prattville desires that the city finances, financial year 2015 audit services be awarded to firm of Jackson Thornton and company PC. Now therefore be it resolved by the city council of the city of Prattville, hereby authorizes the mayor to sign and engage letters with the Jackson Thornton and Company PC and funds in the amount not to exceed $79,000 for an annual audit and $12,000 for a single audit if necessary and hereby approved and appropriated to be paid from the FY 2016 budget line item finance department auditing. I so move. We have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Would be any discussion on this item? All in favor, signify by raising your right hand. And this item is adopted. We do have one more item coming from the floor that was not a part of our agenda. As Councilor Stearns, will you read that, please? Yes, sir. Whereas Cherie Ganish 47 Incorporated doing business as Jet Pet 47 has obtained a business located at 1347 South Memorial Drive in Prattville, Alabama, which is a retail store and whereas said business has applied for retail beer and retail table wine license. Now therefore be resolved that the City Council of the City of Prattville hereby approves the issuance 
of retail beer and retail table wine. Licensed at the business located at 1347 South Memorial Drive, Prattville, Alabama, to Cherie Ganish, 47 Incorporated, doing business as Jet Pet 47. So moved, Mr. President. In order for this item to be considered tonight, it's coming from the floor, the rules must be suspended. I have a motion to suspend the rules. So moved. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. All in favor of suspension of the rules signify by raising your right hand. The rules have been unanimously suspended. Would it be any discussion on this item brought from the floor? All in favor signify by raising your right hand. And this item is adopted. That exhausts our agenda. Madam Clerk, did we miss something? Make sure. Okay. Second. We retract and get that second. Are we in order? Thank you. That exhausts the agenda. At this time, we have comments from persons present on any item that they would like to discuss. Please come to the microphone, state your name. Mayor, you have any closing comments? No. Councilor Strippen? No, sir. Councilor Brown? No, sir. Councilor Stearns? No, sir. Councilor Whiteside? No, sir. Councilor Bowles? No, sir. Councilor Boone. Yes, sir. Just briefly, um, I believe that Mr. Essery is in the audience tonight. And I'd just like to say that we are working towards the Otago County Fair this year, and we'd like to thank him and his committee for all they do for this community. And we are looking forward to working with the city, with the fair, and uh, looking forward to enjoying that this year. Thank you. Thank you. We thank everyone for coming, and we do wish the fair to be a success, as always. Again, I applaud all of you for what you do. Sometimes we don't agree, but... It's good to agree to disagree. You have done a great job. I want to applaud this council for working together, working with your committees. I know a lot of times people out there think we just raise our hands because we want to go along. But there's work that goes along behind the scenes on special committees. And I thank you and applaud you for what you do. With that being said, Next city council meeting is scheduled for October 20, 2015, 6 p.m. here in this council chambers. We have a motion to adjourn. Motion. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. All in favor of adjournment, say aye. Aye. Adjourn. <laughs>